Okay. So welcome everyone. Yeah. I'd like to thank you for coming to my presentation. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about our experience building the enterprise yeah, fabric based on GoPro for two years. I'm Junon Lee, and I have worked for Samsung SDS for more than 10 years, which is the IT company of Samsung Group and one of the largest IT companies in South Korea. Uh, long ago, yeah, I was an enthusiast about the OpenStack, and at the time, yeah, I was, yeah, I tried uh, 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 my best to participate participating in the open source project. But yeah, it's uh, not easy yeah, for me to continue yeah, the kind of activities while working in the company. So I hope yeah, could probably maybe another chance for me. That's why I volunteer to present our passive experience uh, here. I divided my present presentation into four parts. The first, I introduced AI the portal. Second, I will talk about what we added to make an, an enterprise service. Third, I briefly explain how we integrate with GoFlow. And lastly, I address what we are doing at this year and next year. Please hold on your caption until the Q&A session that you held after my presentation. And my presentation will take about uh, 20 minutes. I'll introduce AI Dev Portal. What is it? It's an AI development platform based on Kubeflow. We made it for data scientists and AI engineers to develop, experiment, and test AI model easily. We have three use cases. The first one is we started providing AI the portal as an internal service inside our company for our own data scientist. Next, yeah, we are offering uh, as a cloud service on top of SCP, which is a Samsung public cloud platform. So uh, we, uh, we made the next version as a cloud service. And the third use case is the, if we are offering our platform to one of the, uh, our client company on top of their public cloud. So yeah, why did we choose uh, Kuflo as the base of our service? Yeah, Kuflo allows data scientists and AI engineer uh, to keep their preferred working environment in a container and to execute in a secure environment. It also uh, Allocate resource dynamically based on demand. It helps us to build heterogeneous and machine learning workloads as containers and orchestrate them using Kubernetes pipeline to speed up model deployment and decrease time to production. So, Kubernetes was uh, very good, uh, but we couldn't be satisfied. Why do we need to develop our own uh, dev portal? Kubernetes is not good enough for an enterprise to adopt MRO. That's my, that's our yeah, opinion. So therefore we added, we try to improve usability by providing additional features such as container image management, integrated jam monitoring, as well as yeah, a few administrative features. I will explain one by one, but before explaining in, in detail, yeah, this is the summary. This is the summary yeah, uh, what we made until now. Initially, yeah, we started making an MVP uh, using the Cooper 1.0 in 2020. And last year, uh, we released the first version as a beta service uh, where we built the fundamental, uh, fundamental features for our service. In my presentation today, yeah, I will focus these basic functions. And uh, this year, in the first quarter of this year, we release the next version on top of our cloud. Uh, we use the same version number as the underlying cool flow. That's why you can see version 1.3 and 1.5. And we are planning to the release 1.5 yeah, at the end of this year. This is the first version we made yeah, last year. Uh, it's the screenshot 
yeah, when the user uh, uh, first see after uh, signing. Uh, I'll talk. Uh, I will talk about yeah, uh, many part of the DJ menu in detail later. This is the next screenshot of the next version, and the look and feel was changed a little. And yeah, many menu uh, uh, many new menu new menus were added, and the following screenshots are mostly yeah, from the this version. So uh, you can see the left of the screenshot. You may think that from the yeah, our AI dev portal on point three. Yeah, we are using a country. So yeah, I will talk about uh, in detail what we added to make an enterprise service. First, we needed the project concept. So uh, I uh, introduced the project concept to many users and resources for collaboration. So project can have many users and uh, project should have at least one project administrator. And user can be a member of uh, yeah, one or more project. So I defined three uh, roles. So user can have uh, yeah, one or more digital roles. AI developer is for a normal user. Project administrator, administrator which I mentioned here, the user with the project administrator role yeah, can add the user to the project or delete the user from a project. And the last role, the system administrator is for the entire system, entire AI dev portal. And uh, talking about the relationship, the project and refer, the most important thing is that resources are shared among the members of the project. Uh, however, yeah, yeah, only the creator of the resource uh, and the project admin uh, can edit or delete it. So, yeah, normal member can see, or, uh, for example, to connect to the notebook server over the year. Yeah, other member created, yeah, he can uh, connect to the other uh, connect to the notebook, uh, other members created in the same project. Project is implemented using the namespace of Kubernetes. So we can use the uh, it's a resource scorer. Yeah. Resource scorer of the project is defined when the project is created and it can be modified later. So in order to achieve this, we provided two menus, resource summary and resource scorer management. This is a resource summary. And you can see here, uh, you can see here that the uh, resource is allocated in the current project. For example, the here, here is the CPU, uh, memory, GPU, MIG, and storage information. How many resources are allocated in the current project? In the table below, the, there are more detailed information about the, the kind of resource. And this is the resource column management menu for the system administrator can use. And he can edit the resource color. He can edit the color of any project by increasing or decreasing the uh, DG number. So uh, with the, uh, DG, using the digital menu, we can manage the resources of the uh, project. And we also provide uh, to the ship, for the system administrator uh, to perform several operations to manage the AI dev portal. These are example: project, user, menu, notice, configuration management. So yeah, I will uh, show two screenshots. Yeah, this is the user management. So uh, admin manages all for the system administrator, and he can uh, he can lift all of the users here, and he can add a new user. Well, edit the role of the user, and it uh, can even uh, delete the user permanently. This is one of the example of the yeah, administrator feature, and this is another example of the menu management, the the admin feature. So here, I define the role number. This is the order of the menu we show. Menu is displayed. So, uh, if the shift on the filter define the menu here, it appears in the left side. And the parent menu is defined for, to make the menu hierarchical. So it's a very yeah, convenient feature yeah, for a system maker can customize menu. 
So, and we have uh, uh, quite a few more yeah, improved features for usability. The notable server, yeah, I think yeah, notable server is one of the most important and useful uh, functions of GoFlow. But uh, when we are making the, uh, our first release, uh, we added a stop and restart function. Uh, but yeah, similar functions uh, was added to the Cooper 1.3 later. But the difference is that in our portal, the, when restarting the notebook, yeah, the resource size of notebook server can be changed. That's a little difference. And we, I added the description attribute to for explaining the yeah, top purpose of a notebook server. And images and volumes in the same project can be used to create a notebook server. And images, it, uh, if the, yeah, another menu, uh, which uh, we made, which added to uh, Azure UF feature, it, uh, it, the purpose of the image menu is to provide environment for the user to build a container image at the server side. So container image of notebook or the job, yeah, the operators, and we implemented it using Kaniko. And the last improved feature is the job monitoring, which shows the status of the yeah, cumulative and corporal resource, such as notebook, car tip, pipeline, and training job operators. I will briefly show your yeah, yeah, favorite screenshot. So, uh, this is the screenshot you know, of Notebook Server. So yeah, I added the creator information here, unlike the, the couple of screen. And there are yeah, four icons at the right. This is the connect to the Notebook Server icon. This is the stop icon. Here, if, here we show the stop or restart icon. Uh, this icon is for the edit description. And if you delete the Notebook Server. And we also changed it. We also made it separate the new notebook server pair screen. And here is a description, description field for explaining the notebook server. And we added the project image. So uh, when the image is defined in the, in the project, the user can select here. In addition to the global image and custom image. And this is the, the, also the uh, addition. Uh, we added the uh, yeah, GPU type for the MIG type it can be used to the notebook. These are, these are changes of the notebook server and these are the image menu. Then yeah, is it just a link? It's the image, uh, image uh, uh, the directional image uh, resides in the image repository. Uh, this is the link, the list of the image link. However, uh, when clicking the generate custom image button, there, the diff dialog appear. And by providing the Docker file, the user can request the uh, build the Docker image at the server side. Or he can uh, request using the Docker file in the Git repository. So using this menu, using this function, here, yeah, user doesn't need to set up the his local environment to, to build a, a a container image. And this is the yeah, jump monitoring function. And uh, it, it, you can search by various conditions. And uh, there, uh, uh, these are the notebook, notebook server type. And, and various uh, type of resource are shown here. And you can see the many information, the starting and ending time, the, if you feed, you uh, uh, use now. And by, by clicking the, the eye icon, uh, the more you can see more information uh, about the job. It's the kind of, of job if notebook. And the, clicking the each tab, the, you can get the more information. This is the uh, useful feature, I think, yeah, to uh, uh, look at the yeah, job yeah, conveniently. So until now, yeah, I explained what we added uh, to make on a survey. And now I briefly address yeah, how we, we integrate with Kupro about three points. <coughs> the first one is the authentication. The most basic and uh, mandatory yeah, mechanism yeah, to, uh, to make a shift time. 
So the requirement is the once the user find in, the uh, he should not be he should be able to use the any menu without the finding again. So in order to achieve this, yeah, we directly use the yeah, couple of service and couple if the gateway using the same domain name as couple. So although the text are small, then you can see here we are using the yeah, couple domain name and our portal domain name. They are sharing the yeah, same domain. So therefore we can use the yeah, same mechanism of the couple under our system. And we also integrate with the key clock in addition to that. And we do or without our own FDP, FDS identity provider. The, it's the one point to integrate. And the next point is the, about the user role. So we, we want to use the Cupro resource directory, Cupro resources or API. So our the concept project and user concept are implemented uh, following the yeah, Cupro resource, such as the profile and non binding. So for the project, the Cupro profile is created for each project. And when a user is added to the project, uh, role binding and, and operation policy are created. And, and the project admin, administrator has the role binding of the Cupro admin cluster role, while normal user uh, has the role binding of Cupro added uh, cluster role. So uh, by following the year, uh, simply speaking, by following the Cupro role, so we are directly using the uh, Cupro refill and API directory. That's the second point of integration. And this is the last point of the integration with the Cupro. But it's very simple, but, but powerful. We embedded the Cupro pipeline and auto MF screen inside the iframe and show in the yeah, content panel. So when user clicks the yeah, pipeline menu, there it appears the, the Cupro pipeline screen appears here directly. And we are just patching the namespace parameter. And the user, uh, user of our portal can use the menu yeah, seamlessly here, yeah, our function and the Cupro function. So yeah, these are the uh, brief explain, explanation how we will integrate here yeah, with Cupro. Then yeah, it's coming to the end of my presentation. Yeah, I will, uh, uh, until now, yeah, I'll talk about our past. And in this slide, I will talk about our present and the future. We are still struggling yeah, to, uh, to develop a new feature of AIT portal while upgrading to uh, Cupflow 1.5. We are developing from new feature, AI starter, which is the samples and tutorial. A action history is an audio like logging, a repository and credential, and so on. Also, uh, we are implementing the another uh, uh, another separate service called Model Help uh, to collect and share internal AI assets, such as models and data set and tutorials. We also are in the middle of implementing the AI serving platform based on KSOP and ROCD. CD. Yeah, it, its purpose is to deploy AI model easily and to generate the YAML file using the web interface and to support the building the custom images. We are also planning a more tight integration with the Git repository, image repository, and object storage uh, using Kikra. So uh, these are a brief explanation of our current plan. And this is my, my last slide, and I'll talk about yeah, what we can do for the yeah, community. So today, I started a new journey yeah, sharing our experience. And uh, we'll try to find the overlapping area of interest. Yeah, for example, yeah, uh, we, we learned requirements are similar around the globe. This is the reference from volume. So we added the volume menu from the start, but it's added in the yeah, Coproval 1.3. So I think we can we may find some from area yeah, to uh, uh, can be which can be shared in our company and the community. 
Last but not least, uh, we are willing to contribute our current effort. Uh, if it helps the Kubernetes community and many people are interested in, so yeah, I'm open to discussion. Yeah. So yeah, this is the end of my presentation. So, so if you have questions, and uh, uh, please ask. Thank you so much. Does anyone have any questions? Um, it looks like we do have one question from online and it is, um, is this UI open sourced? Can we use it in our enterprise? Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Until now, yeah, uh, we are uh, making uh, uh, our own purpose. We have been making the service in, for yeah, in, which is used inside our company, and we are making the yeah, service for our client. Yeah, however, yeah, we are trying to yeah open our uh, we are we are willing to try we are willing to open our asset, and uh, it may we may uh, discuss yeah in the future. We got a couple more questions, right? Quick. Uh, um, yes, one question I have is uh, the what Kubernetes distribution have you used to stand it all up, or is it a combination? You could hear. Uh, we are. Uh, I think we are flowing a little. Uh, uh, a little slowly. Yeah, and we are. Uh, uh, each uh, as far as I know, yeah, it's a little difficult to for. Uh, to uh, to support the Kubernetes version uh, because uh, yeah, it's a little old and the Kubernetes is uh, changing very fast. Yeah, but yeah, I think uh, yeah, we are we are a, uh, a few months behind the Kubeflow, and we are trying to adopt the Kubeflow new version yeah, as quickly as possible. Uh, by doing that. That we are uh, trying to adapt the new version of Kubernetes as well. Did I answer your question? Uh, my question was about Kubernetes distribution, not Kubeflow. Uh, so is it Rancher? Is it uh, AWS, EKS? Like, where have you found uh, Kubeflow to work best for you? What, what Kubernetes distribution do you use? No, no, no. We are building our own cloud for beef, and uh, it's not very. It's not too old. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, one or two years old. Only one or two years old, but we are building the cloud platform like AWS or the Google Cloud. Yeah, we are trying to build, and we are using our own yeah uh, quantitative version. Okay. Yeah, based on the yeah open for free release. Okay. You've got your own Kubernetes distribution. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, is there any other question? Uh, yeah, uh, just curious, is your dev portal uh, running the same Kubernetes cluster as uh, Kubeflow, or they use uh, and they share the same authentication mechanism? Yeah, exactly, we are yeah, using the same cluster. Yeah, because we are using the, yeah, uh, our uh, portal is tightly integrated with the Kubeflow on the line. Yeah, so uh, we need to use the same cluster. Oh. Uh, however, yeah, in 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 the in the start of the yeah my design, yeah, I planned to connect with the several uh, several uh, Kubeflow cluster yeah, with our uh, system, but uh, we didn't find the use case yet. Uh, uh, another maybe a little bit technical is like. A you mentioned that you create a project for a Kubeflow profile. You will also create a, a Kubeflow profile for each user or not? No, we are creating profile only for project. And uh, as, I, uh, as I told, uh, we are giving the network, we are making the network refer feed, yeah, such as role binding and operation policy for each member in the project. Okay, thanks. You may, yeah, you may think that we are using the only the group concept or the profile. Jamun, thank you so much and many thanks to Samsung for this presentation.